What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are showcasing Zygarde. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, what are you doing? Go down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, support me as a content creator. But this team right here is very, very fun. It is a slow paced team. It's not a team that you're just going to roll into, dominate the battle, pick up KOs left and right. You actually have to play smart and actually have to have a little bit of skill to play this team, in my opinion, considering there's not a lot of heavy hitters. You got to come in with Celesteela, drop some lead seeds, play your Intimidates right, all that good stuff pest around with eerie impulses and will o -Wisp, and all around just play a solid game to win battles with this team but once you get this team down it is fire it is so good so if you guys want to test your skills and have fun doing so make sure you rent this team and use it as well but starting off in that top left corner we have zygarde right here the restricted mod love this pokemon so much i feel like it is great all around we got power construct so when its hp drops below half it's going to transform get an hp boost and a stat boost immensely it's going to be so much stronger it's going to be an absolute beast on the field we got Leftover as items, so which regenerates HP at the end of every single turn. Then we got Coil, Thousand Arrows, Crunch, and Substitute. The only thing I don't like about this team is it's not Rock and Protect. I think that's the only thing I don't like about this Zygarde, considering like you're rocking Leftovers. You should be Rock and Protect with that, in my opinion, when you're holding Leftovers. Just so you can protect, get free HP after a turn, and roll out from there. But other than that, I really do like this Zygarde setup, and we're going to be showing it off to its fullest potential. Right next to him is going to be Celestial, a great Ultra Beast for this team. Very good at stalling out, especially when you get Leech Seed set up. We got Beast Boost ability, a Guava Berry as their item, Heavy Slam, Leech Seed, Wide Guard, and Protect for its moveset. Middle left, we have Thunderous over here, and I love this moveset for the Thunderous. It is a support Thunderous with Prankster and Citrus Berry as its item. We got Thunderbolt as our only hitting move. Eerie Impulse for minus two in special attack for opposed Pokemon. Taunt to taunt the opposing support mods, and Thunder Wave to slow down and paralyze opposing Pokemon all around. Great Pokemon at control in the battle, and we're going to be showing him off a lot in most of the battles. Incineroar, right next to him, I'm not even going to say anything about this Incineroar. The only thing I have to say about it is it has Snarl on it, which is going to be great considering we have Snarl and Eerie Impulses. So special attackers for the opposing team are going to have a tough time up against us because we're just going to be dropping special attack left and right and rolling out from there. You guys already know the rest about Incineroar, his ability, his items, the rest of his moves are exactly the same, so I'm not even going to touch upon that subject. Same thing goes with Roboom, Roboom's down in the top left corner on this team, and I'm not even going to touch upon him either, because, you know, everybody's using them, everybody knows his moveset, its items, its abilities, it's all good. You guys know about that. Final Pokemon on the team is going to be Weezing. Regular Weezing, which is awesome. It's Cantonian Weezing, Levitate ability, Safety Goggles as the item, and this thing is great at controlling battle as well. It has Taunt for support mods, Sludge Bomb as its only stab move, and then we got Haze to cancel out stat changes and will o -Wisp for physical attackers. So we got Eerie Impulse on the team, Snarl for special attackers, both of them can drop special attack, and then we have this uh, Weezing over here to drop some will o -Wisp, throw the burns on physical attackers. So like I said, this is a slow paced team. It is very, very well. It doesn't hit that hard, but if you can learn how to play it, you're going to be able to catch some wins with it. But guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Zygarde team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Pretty cool team right here, considering he has Indeedee, Talonflame, Volcarona, and then he has Ninetales to set the drought, and Gardevoir. Gardevoir is such a cool Pokemon. Love to see it. Love to see it. But like I said in the beginning of the video, this team is very, very slow-paced team. So we're going to have to play this one slow. Try to get after it that way. I think I'm going to lead to Thunderous. Just because he has a lot of special attackers, I think everybody except for the Town Flame is special attacking. But then we just have electric moves to kind of like pester that down. We're going to go into Thunderous. I might lead Incineroar. I'm trying to think because we can't have Snarls with that. Snarls could be very, very good. I could lead Celestial, who can also be good. We can start seeding up and going from there. Though I actually have to watch out for that. Uh, that indeed could be awful. So I'm going to bring Rillaboom just to switch the terrain. We're going to bring Rillaboom just to switch the terrain. So we're going to be rocking out with that squad right there. Getting after it that way and rolling out strong. But guys, I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who bought products using my sponsorship into the AM. There is a link down in the description below. Leads you to their page. And if you use that link, you get 10% off at checkout. Or you can just use my code at checkout, which is Gene. Seriously, the quality of the product is absolutely amazing. It's super comfortable. It's for everyday wear. I wear it 
everywhere. I legit wear it out at parties, out going out with the boys, chilling out with the homies, you know, every single instance. Or if I'm just chilling at home, I will chill out and wear this comfortable product. I'm wearing one of their tanks right now, and I'm wearing actually one of their beanies. So shout out to everybody who used that code. If you did use that code, because I know a few, guys, few of you guys did, let me know in the comment section down below what products you guys did pick up. Seriously, huge shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me as a content creator. I hope you guys do enjoy the products. But we're rocking out here. Does lead the Talon Flame and the Volcarona. And I think I might just Thunderbolt. I could just Thunderbolt here. Or I could Eerie Impulse. What does Jeans want to do? I could swap. I could do a hard swap. Or I could just T-Bolt here and then drop a nice little Protect here. And Protect my turn one, which I think could be totally fine with me. He has two Fire Pokemon out on the field, which is kind of scary. So you're definitely going to try to target down my Celesteela. Let's see how this one goes out here. Will Lewis comes out here. We end up getting a block. I'm cool with that. And a Quiver Dance. A lovely little Quiver Dance is setting up here. So that's going to boost his special attack, his special defense, and his speed, right? Yep, all three of them are going to get raised. And my Thunderbolt is going to drop. And I'm potentially just going to Eerie Impulse the next turn. And Thunderbolt just completely dominates onto this Talon Flame, which I love. I thought that thing was going to set up a Tailwind, but I'm cool with that all day. So I'm cool with that all day. It's singing out my face. All right, so what we're going to do now is just drop a heavy Eerie Impulse. I think that is 100% play. And he's going to swap into Ndidi, which, boom, I cannot Eerie Impulse. I might have to take one for the team with my, uh, with my, what's it called? With my Rillaboom getting a swap in here. Just to change up that terrain. That might have to be our play here. Because we have to start getting Eerie Impulse off on this thing, right? I'm going to Eerie Impulse here. And Prankster doesn't work inside that terrain, so we're just going to hard swap into the Rillaboom. Even though... Potentially a fire move is coming into this slot considering Celestial is weak to fire, so is Rillaboom, so he might be taking the, the bad end of this. But we do have an Assault Vest and your Impulse should be able to come out before anything else because of the Prankster ability. I think we should be fine, unless he goes for a follow me. Could be, which could do me dirty, which could just screw me up a ton of bit. Let's see what happens here. Gonna screw me up! It is gonna screw me up! Eerie Impulse still comes out on a special attacker, which I like, but still, it could have been could have been a lot better. There's that special attack drop, and he's just going to go for a Struggle Bug here. Struggle Bug's going to pop through here and do some damage. Struggle Bug doing some work. We do have our terrain, though, so we have uh, first turn priority. We have first turn priority with Grassy Glide, which is lovely. Which is just lovely. And now I could just go into... Hmm, Let's go into a Thunderbolt. I think we just start getting off damage here at this point. Or I could start pestering with some some Paralyzes. Might be my play to start pestering with Paralyzes because I still have Zygarde and Celesteel in the back end. Hmm. Jeans wouldn't do. I'll go here and I could just fake out. Actually, I could go like this. Why don't I do this? Why don't I do this? How about, how about this? How about this? How about this? How about we fake out the Ndidi and then drop this uh, Volcarona down minus two? I'm really liking that turn. Like I said, in the beginning of the video, yo, we gotta play slow with these guys. We gotta play slow with this team, and it works really, really well. It's a high skill team. Very high skill, slow pace. Gotta know when to swap, gotta know how to play your Pokemon, and rock off from there. The Quiver Ants is gonna set up again. Eat buttery biscuit. <laughs> this thing's setting up! We're like, get this thing out of my face! He's just setting up all day. Uh, we have to start going after this Ndidi. I think that's it. I think that's the play. So let me see what this thing's stats is at. He's even on special attack. His special defense is through the roof right now. Um, I might just start thunder waving, tossing them left and right. We go for the knockoffs. Take off held items, but more importantly, do a bit more damage. Do have U-turn. I really want to. I think I might U-turn here. What U-turn? Let's pivot out here. While me's gonna come through here. We're gonna, we are gonna paralyze him. We might go for another quiver dance. Might go for another quiver dance. Luckily, I have my boy who's physical attacking. I have my side guard in the back who is big old physical attacker. I think once we get rid of this Volker, no, we should be good, but now what is this thing? <laughs> so we end up doing that. We are gonna pop a nice little, lovely little U-turn. Get rolling from there. And we're gonna get after this. So there's that. U-turn with the KO! U-turn! Yo, I don't think I ever picked up a KO like that with U-turn. Jeez, man. U-turn's dirty. U-turn's dirty. Let's bring out the Zygarde. So now we still have Rillaboom in the back, which is phenomenal. Which is phenomenal. 
comes down to a 2v4 situation. We're playing this one super, super slow. We have my boy Zygarde right here, which I might just start throwing eerie impulses onto that, uh, that Volcarona at this point. Because its speed is through the roof, its special defense is through the roof, its special attack is like plus one now. So I think if we just slow this one down by just dropping that thing with eerie impulses, we can get rid of that thing for the battle and not even have to worry about it. Like, yeah, it might be bulky to special defense, but it won't be able to do enough damage to take out four of my Pokemon. So it ends up dropping the Calyrex, and that's who we're going to have to actually eerie, eerie impulse onto. That guy's looking a little scary. Actually, I could just crunch onto it. I could just crunch onto it. What do I want to do here? I don't want to eerie impulse. I think I'm just going to eerie impulse onto you. And just crunch onto that thing. Say, hey, come here. N let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Calyrex. We don't take kindly to your type. We don't take kindly at all to your type. Eerie Impulse coming out here. Yes, sir. The big terrain swap. That's why exactly why I brought Rogan was for this instance. So, the great play by me to swap the terrain. And, yo, come here, Calyrex. I got to tell you something. I got to tell you something, Calyrex. We should be fine by that. Heat Wave, get that out of my face. Not doing enough damage. Critical hit on my Thunders. Get out of my face. Not dealing with that. Astro Barrage is going to come through here. That's probably going to take out my uh, Thunderous. But Thunderous did tons of work so far, so I'm cool with that. He actually survives. That's lovely. Let me say, Ayo, hey, crunch. Calyrex. Oh my god, we didn't take it out. We didn't take that thing out. Come on, man. But Eerie Impulse did plenty enough. Get that special attack drop. I think we might just have to go for a special attack drop onto the... Uh, the what's it called now? The Volcarona. I think it's probably going to be our player. So Eerie Impulse on Volcarona. And he's probably just going to cancel battle after this. I'm just going to drop a thousand arrows. It is going to take out the Calyrex. It's going to do a little bit of damage on Volcarona. But I can definitely see him quitting this battle and finishing it up. But yo, solid battle from us. Play this one super smart. We didn't lose a Pokemon yet, so hopefully he cancels. Because if he cancels, we get that sweep. We get that 4-0. and oh. But if he doesn't, which he doesn't right there, we're going to lose our Thunderous. We're going to lose our Thunderous, man. The sweep is not happening, but still, yo. Like I said, you got to play slow with this team, which is exactly what we just did. And we are going to be able to pick up a huge win. Thunderous is still alive. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Special attack is dropping. And there's the Astro Rod, yo. I was going to say, yo, if my Thunder survives here, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Thunder goes down. It's fine. Thousand Arrows is going to be able to take out this, uh, this Calyrex, no problem. And then I just bring out my lovely Celestia. I could just bring out my Rillaboom. I think Rillaboom could be a good play, because then I could just fake out from there and roll from there. Which I'm with all day. And Rillaboom is physical attacking as well. So let's just do that. I'm surprised this guy hasn't canceled the battle yet. Surprise! he hasn't canceled the battle. Get this dude out of my game. Not dealing with him. Not dealing with him. This thing's rocking the left over. I should just knock him off. I should just knock him off, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna fake out and just start teeing off on this Pokemon. Just getting after him. But I also have leftovers. You wanna play your leftovers? I'll play my leftovers. We can do this all day. We can do this one all day. Terrain ends, but... But... You wanna see something cool, guys? You wanna see something cool? You wanna see something cool? Terrain's ending. But your boy's bringing back out Rillaboom. Terrain right back up here. We're controlling this stream. But, yo, I really, really love that I thought of bringing Rillaboom in at that last second. Thank God I thought of that. Thank God I thought of that because I was just like, okay. Thunder's just Prankster. The only way it's not working is if Psychic Terrain's there. So, let's bring in this guy to control the terrain and roll out from there. Which worked out perfectly. He had a bunch of special attackers. And it worked out. Worked out in our favor there. Because we were able to switch terrains and keep our Thunders in there. Using those eerie impulses. Drop them left and right. But he still hasn't quit the battle yet. Super surprised. There's a fake out. Fake out doing a lovely amount of damage. Lovely amount of damage. Thousand Arrows comes out here. And does that pick it up? No, this thing's surviving again. This buttery biscuit, man. This buttery biscuit. But maybe next game or, yeah, next battle, I could potentially start setting up a Pokemon. Maybe with a fake out and dropping a coil with a Zygarde. Trying to get his attack boosted. And maybe they can uh, trigger my power construct. That, that thing turns into an absolute beast. You guys know the power of him. Of Zygarde. With Power Construct. It is so good. It is so good all around. But knockoffs can come out here. This guy still hasn't quit his battle yet. Just quit it now. You're not surviving. You're dead. Quit the battle. Do you really think you were going to go 1v4ing with a Bull Corona? It's not happening. It's just not happening. <laughs> I don't know what this dude's saying. This dude's really studying his turn right now. I don't think he quit. I think he's thinking to himself, like, oh, what can I do to win this battle? Like, you're not winning this battle. You are one shot. It th he's still in this battle. This high guard's there. We have a soul vest, so we might be able to eat that. Yeah, all day. And he's, again, he's like minus two or something like that. Thousand Arrows is going to fly through here. Like, I don't get why this guy is still in battle wasting his time. Thousand Arrows pops out here. 
finish off the battle. Nice long first battle. We grab ourselves a win. We can hop into our second and look to go back to back with this Zygarde team. I'm loving our opposing player's team for the second battle. This guy has a Kiram White team alongside with Scizor, Amoongus, Ditto, Incineroar, and Landers. The Ditto and the Scizor are awesome Pokemon. I love seeing people use Scizor. I think Scizor is very, very underrated and super, super strong. I always love using that Pokemon. He's one of my favorite teams on the rank ladder, but who do I think he's going to lead? Maybe that Incineroar might, might come out for a lead. He might come out for a lovely little lead, but he could think that my Thunders is defiant, so that could pose a huge threat to him. Um, I could go Weezing. I could go with my Intimidate. I think my Intimidate is a safe play to go into. I'm going to drop off with him, and then I might go into Celestial for turn one. I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think here. I think Celestial could be good. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? I could go Thunders here. We do have Snarl on Instagram, so that works. I could go Weezing. I think I am going to go Weezing here. Let's go Weezing. Let's go Zygarde. Let's go Celestial. Right, I'm liking this team. I'm liking this team a lot. I kind of wanted my Rillaboom, but at the same time, it's like, eh. A lot of the Pokemon can dump on Rillaboom. Like, Incineroar can beat him. Scizor can beat him easily. Even Thunderous is probably a rock. Or not Thunderous. Even Landorus is probably a rock and Sludge Bomb. So that's a little scary. Let's see this one. Let's see how he's going to play this one. Let's see how he's going to play this one. He's going to lead to Kiram. Is Kiram coming out for the lead? Let's see Kiram and Ditto. I, a wart, a wart. <laughs> I see you. I see you, dog. Kiram coming out and about. Turbo Blaze is here. Turbo Blaze is here. Intimidate's gonna pop here. And look at my boy. Look at my boy. Is he gonna get Intimidate? Please be my like my wheezing or something. It's an imposter, dude. Super sus. He's super sus. And he does get Intimidate. You buttery biscuit, dude. Ditto is like ridiculous. It is so cool. Intimidate is gonna pop out here. He has the same stats, so it's gonna be a speed tie. I think I just had to fake him out, right? And I could. I could just throw a burn over on this thing. I could throw a burn over onto you. Is he physical or special? Hmm. Hmm. I think. I don't think Dragon Ball. This is special. He's already minus one, so I don't think we should even burn him. I think we should go for a fake out for sure, and maybe try. Maybe just try to get off a of poison on this thing. Maybe just try for that. Fake out comes out from my Incineroar. Mwah. Just so he can't fake out me. Earth Power's gonna fly through here, and that's lovely. I'm cool with that turn all day. So Earth Power's gonna hit up on me. Shows you special attack, and I'm cool with that turn. Maybe we get off a lovely little poison here. Maybe we can get off a lovely little poison. Sludge Bomb's gonna fly through here. I would love to get off a Snarl. Give me a poison. There's no poison coming out here. I would love to get off a Snarl, but at the same time, it's just like, eh. Good hard swap, because we know the Earth Power is coming in here. Do Celesteela. And then... Hmm. Don't know Sludge Bomb? It's tough. I really do see us eating that up, so I think I might just go for a... Uh... Let's just go for this party shot if I can get it all. I'm gonna go for that party shot. And I am just going to probably throw another sludge bomb, right? Oh, I'm gonna throw a sludge bomb onto. I'm gonna throw it onto the instant or slot. I'll go with that. Another earth power's gonna come in here. Probably should have maybe swapped Celeste Steel. But I think we like I said, we should be able to eat that. Which we did. Hopefully I can go first. He is gonna get a special defense drop, which is well. Party shot is gonna be able to fly out here. Beautiful. Beautiful. We get off my partner shot. I love it so much. And I wonder what he's going to go into. I think we just bring out Zygarde here. I think Zygarde is 100% the player. Bring out my boy. Bring out my boy. And I wonder what Incineroar is going for. Maybe a parting shot from him. I can definitely see that happen. Hopefully not into my Zygarde slot. Let's see what he does. He's in my Weezing slot. Partner shot's going to come out of here. Son of a gun, dude. Son of a gun, dude. My attack shot, and I might hard swap. I might hard swap. Really depends what he's going to do here. Does have dragon? Does have dragon? And I know he's probably outspeeding me. Mm. We're getting a sludge bomb off of whatever Pokemon he throws in the slot. So if it's a physical attacker, I'll swap it to the Incineroar. He has an Incineroar. What the? 
<laughs> this thing has an instant award. <laughs> Any imposter minds in a war. This thing's nutty. Those all comes through. Give me poison. Yes! Yes! I love it. I love it. Alright. So we know that we know the uh We know the dragon pulse is coming through here. I think I got a hard swap here. Let's swap you. Start throwing burns. I might just start throwing burns out left and right. It might be better than sludge bomb. So I'm gonna burn onto this uh This what's it called? This Kirim. Start having pester damage. We gotta play this one slow. We have to play this one slow. Well, I wish by Zygarde had protect. Like, he's rocking leftovers. I totally wish he had it. He's gonna swap this thing. And what is gonna take this burn? Amoongus. Mm. <laughs> Hopefully, he fakes out on my Zygarde slot. Actually, I don't know, because I can think I might similar. Get off Intimidate. That's what plays out. U turn should come in from him. He's gonna take me out with that, is he? Yep, he U-turned. Dude, come on. This <laughs> dang game. Um, he might bring back out Kirim. Um, I'm trying to think of who I should go into. Who I should go into? Because that Amoongus is probably just going to pester me and be annoying, right? That Amoongus is definitely going to pester me and be annoying. I'm going to bring back out Kirim. So I, get, I get the first look, which is great. Which is great. Turbo Blaze, the Blaze radiating and all that good stuff. Willow is going to come through here. And it is going to land. It's going to land. I just want to get off a burn on somebody and just start uh, chipping away damage. That burn damage. We have burn and a poison, dude. Amoongus is so good. All um, I think they're just bringing out him. Right? Bring out Celestial. Get it popping here. Let's get it popping. The Celestial is going to pop here. Um, I could drop a Heavy Slam. He's probably going to spore up on my, onto my next Pokemon. I think Heavy Slam has to come out here. And let's just taunt. Let's just taunt you. Taunt you over there. Could go for a Rage Powder. Could go for a Spore. I'm hoping he goes for a Spore and we can end up taunting onto that Pokemon and just doing some nice damage onto the side here in White with a nice, lovely, heavy slam. Let's see. Let's see how this one plays out. Kirim is super, super strong. And I can see holding that life for him. Actually, it's, I don't think it is. Actually, how do we get off that damage on that? It's just from a Sludge Bomb, so it's not holding a life for him. I wonder what item it is holding then. Maybe a berry? But I usually like a Kiram's rocking a life form, trying to do as much damage as it possibly can. But like I said guys, yo, these battles are going to be longer. Battles are definitely gonna be longer. I'm gonna end up withdrawing you. Okay, I'm cool with that turn all day. I'm gonna be able to drop a heavy slam onto this Ditto, and this Ditto is probably gonna change to my Celestial, right? I don't know what Pokemon it swaps to. This is straight across? I think it's straight across. I'm just gonna come out here. Be taunting up on you. Heavy Slam's gonna do nothing. Man, dude, if I would have set up a Leech Seed there, it could have been lovely. Heavy Slam's gonna drop. Gonna be able to do a little bit of damage. And Amoongus, more importantly, is going to be taunted. So I do like that turn. I do love that turn. And he is, he is sport up on me. He is sport up on me. So I could just go for a Leech Seed. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Leech Seed's going to pop. And I think we just start Sludge Bombing. What do I go after? Go after some Moongus, just in case he swaps, or we can still get off a little bit of damage on him. And he is going to swap the Moongus. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. He's going to go back into Kirim, I'm guessing. Nope, and Cinnamon comes back out here. Who is already poisoned? Who is already poisoned? I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So the Sludge Bomb's going to fly through here, do a little bit of damage, and we're going to start setting up our seeds full of leeches. He's going to leech seed as well. You son of a biscuit. I might hard swap. I think I might have to hard swap him. My wheezing. Leech is gonna come out from you. Look at this, yo. Slow battle. We might only get into two battles for today's video. We might only get into two battles for today's video because of how long these battles are gonna be. The first battle was decent long, but this one's definitely gonna be longer. A solid battle here. We're seeding him, he's seeding us. They do a hard swap. Poison's chipping away. Which we love to see. Which we love to see. Okay. So we're seeded. I really don't want to give him the seeds. I could swap in his eye guard all day. Hmm. I think I'm just protecting here. Maybe going for just a burn over on him. I think we can swap next turn. Protect Celestial. He might fake me out here. Let's see. Let's see how this one plays out. 
Light Blitz comes through. There's a beautiful protect. Um, okay. Light Blitz is going to come through here. It does connect, which is huge. I wonder what Celeste Seal is going for. Is he going for another Leech Seed? He might. He might, but we're slowly pestering this damage away. Heavy Slime's going to come through here. I'm cool with that. Heavy Slime comes through. We're able to eat up. He's going to start getting some seeds. All right, so we got the burn kind of like that, but I might hard swap my Weezing. Might hard swap my Weezing, just so he doesn't have seeds anymore. And I'm trying to, I'm just trying to think what I could do here. He's definitely going to Flare Blitz. I could, I could lead seed, or I could just hit a, that thing with a Heavy Slam. Start getting rid of that thing. If I can get rid of him, that means I have seeds set up for a Celestial the rest of the match. We already have, oh no, we don't have one of his Pokemon gone. He has one of us gone. I think I might just seed up on him. What do I do here? Weezing has burns and poisons on everybody, which I love. I think I'm just going to double down on this guy. Get rid of this Incineroar. I'm going to end up withdrawing this Incineroar. That's huge. That's huge. So we're going to seed up on whatever Pokemon he throws out here. And we're going to be able to get off a Sludge Bomb here as well. So I'm really liking that turn. I'm really liking that turn. Sludge Bomb comes through here. Getting off some damage. Not going to do too, too much, but still. I love it. Leech Seed's going to come out here, and we dodge it. Our Leech Seed comes out here, and it doesn't affect me. All right. That's fine. That's a fine turn. Uh, let's just taunt up on him again. Let's just taunt up. Dude, this one's super, super slow. <laughs> super, super slow. <laughs> this one's going the distance, baby. It is going the distance. We have pester damage. We're chipping away. And now might be my turn to hard swap, but again, I have to uh, I have to taunt. I have to taunt first and foremost, so we'll heavy slam and we will taunt. And then I think I'm just going to swap. A dang imposter over there. Slow, slow battle here. We're slowly chipping away with all these moves, which is great. Gonna end up protecting the Moongus. Okay, that's a fine turn. I think she's gonna heavy slam onto my Weezing, right? Leechy's gonna come out here. And we dodge it again. We got it. We love this. We love this game. We love this game. <laughs> Leech Seed's pestering, bro. It's out and about pestering. The burn is helping us out a little bit, but still. Still, I don't think I don't think we have enough Moxie in us to take out this uh the Celestial unless we start taking out every other Pokemon. That's our only way. You know? That's the only way. We have to double down in this slot. No matter who he's gonna bring in here. We're gonna double down in the slot. So let's see this dude's lovely little play. He's probably gonna swap. Like, dude, this one's going to distance. Our Weezing should be going down soon. Our taunt is gonna come out here. We are gonna heavy slam it, but I'm gonna swap my uh I'm gonna swap my wheezing after this. Nice lovely heavy slam there. I wonder what he's going for. Rocky helmet, bro. Rocky helmet coming out from him. Leech seeds setting up, yo. Know, dang leech seeds, bro. Grass knots coming through. Grass knot. Wow. He's rocking grass knot. We're able to eat. He predicted the taunt. I'm cool with that all day. Leech seed is coming out, yo. Leech seeds are nasty. Okay. Uh, what's the play here? What's the play here? We know we outspeed, so I, I I think I'm just gonna let Weezing go down. I really don't think we swap him at this point. There's really no point. He is sapping us up right here. I do have protect ready to rock, but there's no point of me going into a protect right now. Super super slow battle. Super super slow battle. He might protect. I can definitely see him protecting the uh the Moongus here. So I really don't want to double down into him. Hmm. Jeans want to do here. I could just throw a leech seed, predict a swap, but I don't see him swapping. I'm just gonna go for a heavy slam here. I can see him potentially protecting, so I'm just gonna go for a. Uh... Actually, let's just go here. I don't know what the, what, what, what I want to do. I'm just gonna protect. Uh, I'm just gonna protect you. I'm just gonna slash my over here. Okay, that's fine. I'm cool with that turn. He's cool with that turn. He does swap. I knew I should see. I knew I should see. He's gonna go back out in the Incineroar. I'm thinking. Yep. There's the Incineroar. Poison is taken away onto him. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. If I get rid of him, that could be big for us too, because there's Zygarde's physical attacking. Protect comes out from Celestial. Protect comes out for us. Okay, I'm cool with that turn. I'm cool with that turn all day. So again, we're just slowly pestering away with Leech Seeds. Yeah, dude. This is, these are fun teams, man. Here goes Sludge Bomb. Poison's gonna be able to chip away a little bit. 
a little chip damage. Our Weezing will be alive for another turn, which is great. Which is just lovely, unless he just fakes me out here. And our rolls from there. So we're taking his HP. We said, hey, yo, give me that. And then the burn can chip away a little bit of damage as well. Gotta love it. And look at him. Now he's now he's taking my HP. You <laughs> know, there's so much going on at the end of every single turn. It's like leech seed, leech seed, leech seed, poison, burns. <laughs> we should get an effort on that way. Okay, I'm cool with that. So Incineroar's definitely gonna go down here. Um What do I do? I really don't want to hard swap to Celestial. I mean I guess we'll go for a heavy slam. Really not worried about that Incineroar too much. Just, I don't know what to do. Let me see the stats. Should I change stats? Maybe we'll go for Haze here. Just eliminate all stat changes. That's one plays out. Is he gonna go for a fake out? I'm gonna withdraw the Incineroar. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go into the Moogus. And that thing is that thing regenerator? It might be Haze is popping out here. Now he's not taunted, which kind of stinks. Every slam's gonna fly through here, and that's gonna take out my Weezing, right? All right? So Weezing goes down here. Jeez, man. Beast boost coming out here. This thing is boosting up. God dang, dude. Super slow, man. Super, super slow. Every slam flying through here. We're just chipping up on that thing, doing like no damage. It's battle, man. This is a great battle, though. Even though like we're losing. We have a lot of pesters going around here. But hey, you guys know the rules. You guys know the rules. We're probably actually going to only keep this uh, video to two battles. We won our first one. This one's long and drawn out. We might end up losing this one and going even for today. But you guys know the rules. We don't get swept. But we got to take out a Pokemon. You can definitely spore up on moves. Which I don't like one bit. He does not like one bit. So I might sub up. So I'm fine with Celestial going to sleep, to be honest. Might sub up. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sub up here. Jeans is gonna sub up. He's probably gonna leech seed into me. And I don't think you can leech seed. Yeah, you cannot leech seed a substitute. But that could be big for me. I sub in here. Here's my substitute. I do have leftovers ready to rock. Ready to rock. I can see a spore and a leech seed coming out from him. Heavy slam flying through. Getting after this. Look at that damage. Look at that lovely damage. Look at that lovely damage. Rocky Helmet's gonna chip away with me. Leechy. Failing. Get it out my face. Spore. Failing. Yo, huge turn from me. That's a big turn for me. Big old turn from Jeans. Because again, I know a heavy slam should be able to take out that Amoongus, no problem. He might swap me out. He might swap me out. But now we're sitting here. I can set up a coil all day. And that might be my play, is to set up a coil now. So let's still get some HP back. We love to see. We love to see it. So now I might protect and set up a coil. It'll be my turn. It'll be my turn to do, do that. Protect. Let's coil. Let's do it. Let's do this guy dirty. Let's do him dirty. We have sub set up. I really do not see a heavy slam really taking out my sub. So let's see. We got Sky on the ropes now. Do have this guy on the ropes. He still has Incineroar, which is tough. But if he brings out Incineroar, the coil will neglect this intimidate, and then he will go down to the poison. So that's fine. There's a withdrawal. Here's the Incineroar, right? Yeah. Okay. So he's gonna go down to poison. Sweep is not in effect. Good. Good. One of Gene's rules is gone, and it does not affect me because oh, it does not affect me. That's huge. It does not affect me because I'm in sub -suit. Three minutes till the battle ends, so we gotta get after it this way. I'm gonna be able to coil up here. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Cool coming out. Cool coming out here. We get our stat boost. We get our attack boost. Our defense boost. And our action. Heavy Slam's fine through here. That's cool. Show me that eats up the sub. Show me that doesn't eat up the sub. It does not eat up the sub. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got this, baby. We got this battle. Incineroar, do me a favor. It took a while, but get out of my face. I'm real sick of you. I'm real sick of you. I need you out of here. You, you've been trying to pester me all day. It's not working. It's not working. So now we got my main man Celestial over here doing some work. Did I protect that turn? I think I did protect that turn. Right? I'm trying to remember. 
Did I protect that turn? What did I do that turn? I think I protected that <laughs> turn. Alright, so there's this. Burn, chipping away. Um, definitely thinks that my, uh, my side guard's a threat. Two minutes left till battle. Dude, if he go, if he pesters this one out and wins this one, I'm gonna be very upset. We have a huge shot here now. He's gonna bring out Amoongus. And I'm just gonna, do I double down into Amoongus slot? I think we double down into the movie slot. Let's go a thousand arrows, I could crunch. Let's do it. Oh, does that still hit Ditto? Because he's technically still normal typing? I think that might. That's pretty cool. I dig it. I dig that a lot. Yo, what a battle, yo. What a battle going on here. We are battling this one out. We got our sub up. We have Celestial with... One lead seed. We got two burns going on here, and then he just has Kieran White. But, dude, we do need more time here. We need so much more time. This is such a good battle. This is such a good battle. Is this guy just, like, sitting here wasting time for the win? He's going to end up protecting Celestial, which is totally fine. He's just wasting time here. You kidding me, man? He double protects. He's going to hard swap now. He's gonna hard. He's just wasting time to win this match. Are you kidding me? This dude's gonna win. This dude's gonna win. We have to get off another turn here. This dude is going to win because of this. That is ridiculous, bro. Look at. I think we would have won this match. Hopefully, we can get off one more turn. Because if I get off one more turn, maybe I can take out one of his Pokemon. But again, I think he just hard swaps Amoongus. If he's smart, that's exactly what he does. Come on, come on, yo! Finish the turn. Burns go! Burns go! <laughs> Burns go! Yo, come on! <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's put in my moves. Heavy slam on you, and then I think we just Thousand Arrow. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's my last turn. He's wasting everything out. He's wasting everything out. I think that the last turn will go into effect. If he swaps, he wins. I lost. Bruh. What was that? How did I end up losing that battle? The last turn did not go through. I seriously thought that at the end of every single timer, your last turn will go through, but it did not. I think if we had more time, we would have won that battle. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below. We had a coil set up. We had a substitute set up. We were ready to take out that Amoongus and roll out from there. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below your guys' thoughts on that last battle and whether we would have won or not. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.